Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jay. Welcome to the very first video of my Get and Go channel, which stands for Get in the Truck and Get Outdoors. Today I'm going to take you on a little tour of my newest truck camper build and show you how I got these Milwaukee Packouts incorporated in the setup. But first, here's a few pics of my last build and camper setup that I had. It was a 2016 F-150 XLT FX4 with a 5 liter engine in it. It only had a 5.5 foot bed, but I'm not a big dude and was able to make that work for me. It had two different setups, which was a double bed setup from when my wife came out camping with me. And the other setup was a solo setup that I was able to roll in while uh, I was out hunting and fishing for the weekend. Alright, so for the new rig, I have the 2022 F-150 XLT FX4. This one does have the 5 liter engine in it as well. You can't go wrong with a bulletproof motor. Uh, the only things I really got done, I kept my wheels and tires from my last rig. Just some fuel rims, Goodyear Dura tracks on there. Other 20 inch rims, I'm probably going to downsize those to 18 inch rims and get some more rubber on here. Uh, due to warranty, I was not able to lift this anything past 2 inches for now so all I did you probably can't see it but I did put the uh, ready lift leveling kit in there did upgrade the grill to the Raptor grill it just makes it stand out it looks really sharp for the cap it's an ARE CX series cap I did get it line X sprayed you see it uh, Get some texture to it. That'll stop a lot of the branches from uh, scraping up against, killing paint. And when I get the kayaks up and off the roof, which I get the roof rack on probably this week if I'm hoping, does have both sides the slider windows with screens in them. Uh, the inside, that back window there, it has a slider in it as well. They go right through the cab or the truck of the bed. Or sorry, into the truck. Uh, that whole window folds right down too, so you can get back there and clean. Again with the screens. I did go with the carpet all around, which is way nicer as well. I had that in my last one. Uh, I did not go with the lit the light, the extra light installed, uh, because I did, as you can see, have after ideas for aftermarket lights. So now just got a little quick peek in there. Let's uh let's get the packets out and we'll show you how we got it set up. Alright, so those that don't know how these work, it's a modular toolbox, I guess you call it. Drawer system. How they all work. So on the bottoms they all have these little molded in little feet. And what they do is they slide in these little grooves here makes them packable, stackable, go on top, and they all lock right in, it comes as one. So you see, you get crates, you get carryalls, you just get different size crates, or boxes, sorry. And uh, again, a little latch there, and just unclips them. And then, so in here, Jump in, hopefully you can see. They also make these uh, mounting brackets for them. Excuse the wire. It's all going to get tucked away here shortly. There for my lights, which I'll uh, describe afterwards. These little brackets, they pretty much act as the tops of, the, of each box. So again, you can see where they go in and they go into these grooves here and they'll lock in. So let me see if I can set this up here and show you how to do it. I don't think I can do it with one hand. So again, you just come on, set them on, line them up, push them back, you hear them lock right in. Do it again on this one here. Slide it on. Line it up. They lock right in. Now they won't go anywhere. They're locked right in place. Now I also have the option 
if I wanted to pack more stuff, again, each one has these feet and has the top lid for latching. Line them up, click them in. Line them up, click them in. And they're locked in place. They won't go anywhere. So if I ever wanted to carry more gear, it just lock right into place. That's secure. But I actually have a different idea. I like the idea of having a tabletop. Because you never know if it's raining, snowing, whatever, if I'm going to be stuck in here. So I'm going to at least need a tabletop. So here's a little trick. So, one thing I did find, it was Amazon, was you could actually buy the little mounting feet separate. So what I did is I set them on there, had some double-sided tape, got them all lined up, and I was able to screw them right to the bottom of the board. So now, this board, Line it all up, snap it in, now the table won't go anywhere. And now I have my tabletop, which is perfect. Cook, clean. This is pretty basic. They're so convenient, I guess you'd say. Um, I figured why not use them for the price of wood nowadays? By the time I were to build a couple boxes with some drawers, it's almost worth just getting it, buying them as is. Again, with the other packets I could have stacked on top when I'm traveling, I usually pop them out once I get on site. I could throw them in the back of the truck, pile them on, pile them up outside the truck. I think it'd be great. So uh, let's, uh, I'll bring you back. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, set up, get the drawers done up, and I'll bring you in for one more quick little tour after everything's all set up. All right, so I got everything cleaned up inside, got it somewhat set up. Again, it's about 99% done. I still need to get the curtains all done, set up. Uh, got a couple more little odds and ends I gotta get done here. So to turn you around, let's go through a little tour here. So obviously, bedside on the driver's side, Pack it, it's all set up. On the other side. And here. Got a little drawer. Just keep some odds and ends in there. Got my lax. Tape. Extension cord. If I need to, I can always throw a shotgun rifle in there. When I'm out hunting. That works out pretty good. Of course, this side, the traditional. Tight today. Is the uh, kitchen side. Just keep the propane, spices, camp stove. We got uh, some towels, Lysol wipes. Keep all my dishes. Some cast iron pans down there. Pot set here. Pot and pan set. Just miscellaneous stuff. Kitchen sink. More utensils. Cutting board. All my knives and forks are in there. Just push it in nice and tight. Something to scrape in there. Let's hop in, see what's all in the drawers. Uh, I also, back here, I won't do it now because my bed's all nice and neat, but I do have a thing here set up where this lid just pops right up. I keep a lot of extra stuff in there as well. 
Jackery here. My laptop all set up. Well, the lighting's not the best in here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, a little bit of light in there. So we got all the lights all set up. It's not really that dark outside yet, but oh, under here, just got some extra storage. I can keep some clothes, keep the camera gear, whatever I need. A lot of the boys will understand what this is for. A little late night. It's cold outside. But I'm uh, also going to use it. Sit back and chill out. Again, I got a couple little odds and ends to do. Probably uh, look a lot better once the uh, sun goes down. Be able to get an idea of just how bright these lights are. Um, but yeah. Again, just a little cabinet I had built the side there. I got everything carpeted this time too, instead of last time. Marine carpet makes it look a lot neater. I did have some laminate, leftover laminate flooring. So I was able to work that in here. Worked out great. Put a little cap at the end down there as well. So, pardon my thumb in the shot. Again, pretty simple, basic setup. But uh, that will be perfect for what I do and what I need. Once, uh, once the weather gets a little better too, the wife will start coming out with me. So I will make a new video on just how uh, easy it is for this side that just pops out. I literally have an L bracket holding it down because I have a half inch plywood underneath this for a subfloor. So it's just a matter of taking two screws out of that. That whole side will come right out. I got the other bed, I'll just slide, the other side of the bed and drawers will slide right in. And then uh, we have the mattress and that inside. So, yeah, like I say, it'll do perfect for me. All right, guys, well, that's my new rig. I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch my video. Again, uh, I'm a little new at this. I have no camera skills. I'm very camera shy, actually. Um, turkey season is uh, coming up next weekend. Uh, I'm probably going out for a couple days. Um, I plan on shooting some footage there, hopefully, if everything works out. And uh, I'll probably upload it and share it with you guys. So subscribe to the channel, guys. Hit notifications so you don't miss out. And uh, thanks again for watching.